As a brand, you need to understand how scrap rates can affect your cogs. Raw materials can be extremely expensive, and packaging isn't getting any cheaper either. Here at SCP, we understand that, and we work hard to keep waste to a minimum to maximize your returns. It's important to find a manufacturer who understands scrap rates so that they can steward your raw materials wisely. So what is a typical scrap rate for powder and film going into stick packs? Well, on average, you can expect to see between one to 5% scrap rate for powders, while film could be closer to five to 10%. There are a few factors that affect this and we'll get into that. One factor to consider would be the flow characteristics of the powder itself. In general, a free-flowing powder is gonna result in much tighter fill variances, which will result in net higher yields. You should ask your co-man if they have the correct auger size and tooling to deal with your specific powder type and fill weights. Another factor to consider is the batch quantity per skew. The higher the volume, the lower the waste will be as a percentage. This is because much of the waste that occurs typically happens during setup of the machine. So the more units that you run, the less impactful that waste is gonna be. This is especially true of film, where 70 to 80% of the waste that occurs happens during initial setup. For example, it can take 25 feet of film just to thread the machine, and that'll add up really quickly. You wanna make sure you have an experienced operator working with the equipment. In the end, you should budget conservatively. Plan for 10% waste on film and 5% waste on powder, and that way you won't be surprised by higher scrap costs. If you have really expensive product, you wanna communicate that with your co-man so that they can steward your materials wisely. Follow us if you want to learn how to make manufacturing simple.